4K versus Blu-ray 4K. Let's talk about it. Brass tax. It's your boy Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know. Is there a difference? Yes. Quite a great one. What about sound? Yes. Quite a great one. That's it guys, thanks for watching. Please hit the, I'm just playing. There are Netflix 4K shows, which are 4K, which are in HDR as well. If you were to watch their 1080p Blu-ray counterparts, the 1080p wins in this bitch. When it's streaming media, it's very, very heavily compressed. Voodoo, we don't have that here in the, in the UK, but I've seen it in action. And I've seen 4K releases with Dolby Atmos in this bitch. Now the sound quality, Fantastic. I don't know whether it's compressed or not, but you definitely can tell you're having a superior listening experience. When the video is heavily compressed, you do notice it fairly quickly. The larger the screen, the more you notice it in this bitch. Now, two things happen with streaming. Either A, they look overly sharp, or B, they look overly soft. And one thing I never understood is why they didn't implement HDR with 1080p Blu-ray. Whatever the case is, I'm sure they've got their reasons. But when HDR is implemented with digital media, it looks great. The HDR is fantastic on some of the Netflix episodes and some of the movies on Voodoo and other places. That doesn't really compensate for the visual quality. Yeah, it's a brighter picture. It helps with a bit more detail. It also shows more of the imperfections. So in that respect, it's a good and bad thing. Now, when you've got 4K Blu-ray, you're getting the best possible image quality. Watch it at the highest bit rate you can. As uncompressed as you can get that bitch. If you've got a large screen, that is the one you'd want to watch. I'm going to keep it real with you. I hate physical media. I've got three games consoles. It's all digital. i got Apple Music. It's just more convenient and fun. But when it comes to movies, I really do care about what I'm watching. When you see a 4K Blu-ray in action versus streaming, it's night and day in this bitch. Another thing is people don't realize until they actually see it. People have just got used to streaming and they forget how good even a Blu-ray looks until they see it in action. If you don't have it, you don't miss it. Once you see it, it is a big, big difference. Dolby Vision looks fantastic on streaming. The contrast levels look great. They look great. You're still missing out on the visual fidelity of the movie. Pause, wrinkles, uh, depth of field. Now, like I said, a lot of movies compensate that with sharpness. And what that does sometimes, it makes the film look too unnatural. Now, I saw Hateful Eight on 4K digital. It looked over-processed. Didn't have the natural filmic look to it like the movie actually does have. Whenever you compress something to that degree, you're not really watching it how the director intended. And chances are, most of us have 4K Blu-rays with HDR. You know, we want the best experience we can get in our home theaters. So if you want the best experience, you're looking at 4K Blu-ray, even with the sound, because a lot of them are Dolby Digital 5.1. Which is fine if you're used to it. But then you listen to Atmos or True HD 7.1. God damn! There's a night and day difference in that bitch. Don't underestimate how much sound adds to a movie. It does. So my answer is a very resounding yes. There is a huge difference. Go with 4K Blu-ray. Until they find a way to put 4K Blu-ray uh, on streaming services which are uncompressed. Which I doubt is going to happen because the size of some of these bitches. 100 gigs. For Dawn of Justice. Can you imagine streaming that bitch? God damn! For right now, it's physical media. I do think that 4K Blu-ray is going to be the last physical media we get. I think there will be different incarnations of 4K Blu-ray. But it's still going to be 4K Blu-ray. Because the higher you get past 4K, the less noticeable it's going to be, in my opinion. 4K Blu-ray for sure. For the ultimate movie experience, guys. That's my thoughts on it, guys. I hope that helped. If it did, hit the like button, comment if you've got any questions, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm going to catch you guys soon.